Hi, John Cordisco back again. It's going to be something a little different this time. I'm going to do a little commentary, uh, put my opinion on the FIDE presidency. They had the vote today in the FIDE Congress in Norway. Uh, they usually have it at the Olympiad every two years. And the voting was 110 for the current president, Elin Bazanov. You never pronounce his name correctly. And we all, we all know Gary Kasparov got 61 votes. Former world champion. Arguably the greatest player that ever lived. Now, I say all those things because, one, I'm extremely surprised that the vote wasn't closer. And two is, I can't even begin to tell you how incredibly disappointed I am. And I'll tell you why. I think chess has been set back now worldwide 20 years easily with the Keystone Cops borderline criminals that run FIDE now. I'm not saying that everybody in FIDE in the higher echelon is, is all criminals, but they're incompetent, they're self serving, they're not serving chess. And for myself, who lives in the Western Hemisphere in the United States, I think for North America, South America, Africa, a lot of Asia, in Western Europe, the current FIDE president is a joke, and I'm being kind. Gary Kasparov wanted to bring chess out to the world. Probably the closest we would have been to worldwide coverage for chess since the 1972 Fisher Spassky match. I was a young boy, I remember watching it. Long before the internet and barely after cable. Watched it here from upstate New York from a PBS affiliate out of Albany. I was mesmerized by it, and that's what started me on my lifetime of playing. Gary would have opened it up everywhere. Would have got huge money, corporate sponsors, just like any sporting event. Those of you, wherever you live, you're listening for soccer, American football, baseball, basketball, tennis, any sport you want to has huge corporate sponsors. You see some of the top chess players with logos on their shirts. Many of them, Sergei Karyakin, Carl Nakamura, Bagnus Carlson, world champion. The championship's a joke. It's, it's in a nice town in Russia, but it's in Russia. And nothing against Russia. They have a lot of big tournaments. This should be center stage. As Gary Kasparov said, this is the crown jewel of FIDE. And now they have it every year, which is too much. It's great for us fans, but in the millions and millions of corporate sponsors that would have come in, we're looking at TV coverage minimum in Europe, not just on the Internet, but TV coverage like they do in Norway. I've seen that coming in a lot of countries. The United States has the best media and the best facilities for broadcast in the world. Nothing against Western Europe. They have great ones too, but the U.S. is the media capital of the world. We have been for a long time. And that's, that's not bragging. It should have been here at least one time. None of, none of the corporate world takes the FIDE president seriously. And I'll get to the other point that I think has to be changed that won't, as long as this current president is in, is how it's voted on. Let me give you an example. Each chess federation from each country receives one vote. Let's see if we understand this correctly then. Say China, with its several billion people, votes for FIDE president. And a small country like, we'll say, the British Virgin Islands that maybe has a couple of hundred chess players. Nothing against the Virgin Islands. It's a great place. It's wonderful. And so are its people. Several hundred, at best, chess players. Where China has millions of chess players. Each gets one vote. That's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. It's misrepresentation of the entire process. To give you an example, in the United States, our government, when they go to vote, one house is the U.S. Senate. 
which has two representatives from each state. The other house is the House of Representatives, where it's based on population per district. So everybody gets a fair shake. Having all these little small countries and countries that, that this current FIDE president can pay off and basically bribe for votes is absurd. It's destroying chess. It's destroying the game I love. I, would, I can't even tell you how hopeful I was that Gary was going to win. That in my lifetime, I would see the popularity of chess worldwide when I was a young boy in 1972. is now dashed. is now shattered. Probably never going to come back. Gary did the best he could. They spent millions. And this criminal that's running FIDE now, this is the guy that went, by the way, with aliens when he lived in Moscow. It's the old guard. It's the stuffy guard. It's the guard with no new ideas. It's the guard that's self-serving and all they care about is themselves and not the game. I hope Gary comes back. I know how incredibly disappointed he is. And with a man of his personality to lose, and lose that badly, I'm sure it's got to be very, very, he's got to be shaken. Gary, don't give up hope. If you remember your match against Karpov, you were 5-0. And that went on forever, and you went on to win the world championship. Do not give up. Do not desert us, us people that love chess and like to see it spread to a worldwide phenomenon. And if all of you do would like to comment, please do. I would love to hear your comments. I, I'm beside myself with, I'm disgusted and angry at the same time, and that's a very strange mix. And I can't even tell you when I heard the news, watching the Chess Olympiad today, about the vote. My heart just sank. I was almost ill because I couldn't believe it. I had my hopes up that chess would become a worldwide phenomenon again in my lifetime. We'll have to see how it works out, but for right now, the bad guys have won. Kudos to Gary for running a damn good campaign. Don't give up, Gary. A lot of us in the world and here in the United States and many other places are for you. Hang in there and don't give up.